What happens if you stay in the rain without an umbrella? You think you've been soaked the most. But what if raindrops were comprised of sulfuric acid instead of water? We completely melted. Is it possible to approach the pan while frying? What are the consequences if you observe the source without a mask while welding? Metal particles of fire hit your face, you get injured, your eyes may be blind. The sun rays reveal all the dangers I count. How are we protected? The sun appears very calm from a distance, yet inside and around it, apocalypses occur. But these explosions are within limits that will not negatively affect life on Earth. Explosions happen during fusion in the sun, impacting the outer layer known as the shell. Also, coronal mass ejections result from magnetism. Solar winds, charged particle clouds, and magnetic plasma are violently expelled into the environment. It attacks Earth at a speed of 9 million km h. The world has armor that we cannot see. The ozone ball is just one of them. There are much more powerful unseen armors just outside the Earth's atmosphere. These armors reflect harmful rays. If the world were not a preserved planet, the unstable solar lights, radiation and solar winds would sweep away the atmosphere. Poles are the places where invisible armors are indirectly visible. When the rays from the sun reach an excessive level, some of them are refracted and collected at the poles. And a sky banquet emerges. Northern and southern lights are formed like this. Magnificent images emerge. Tourists from around the globe gather to witness these. These lights are seen from the rooms in the shape of sand particles. These domed rooms are insulated against extreme cold and covered with double glazed walls. Our protective armor surrounding Earth outside the atmosphere is just like this. Imagine we protect the world with glass. Is it possible? Could we protect it? It's not enough. Let's say people decided to establish a colony on Mars. Elon Musk's dream. If we are going to live on the entire Mars, we need to surround it with such an armor. If we are alive right now, it is thanks to the armors that envelop the atmosphere and protect the world. So we need to journey to the center of the Earth to understand how this armor formed. People are curious about the inside of the Earth. He wants to understand what is inside the world. Jules Verne's novel Journey to the Center of the Earth relates to this. In the novel, it is mentioned that it goes down to about 140 kilometers below which is impossible. The deepest point ever reached is in Russia. In close proximity to the Norway border lies Kola Superdeep Borehole, a location with a name indicating its depth of 12 kilometers. The deepest well closed. We can find valuable stones in these depths, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, not gone deeper or could not go deeper. So how can we understand what's inside the world? During an earthquake, seismic waves spread in all directions, impacting everywhere. There are P and S waves with different characteristics. Analyzed. P waves pass through all points. S waves can only penetrate the mantle. Scientists and systemologists try to solve the world's problems with data collected from hundreds of points. Origin of known info. Earth semi-diameter, 6371 kilometers source of data. To reach the center of the world, one must travel a distance from London to Yemen like a bird's flight. But people could only go down to a maximum depth of 12 kilometers. Why can't we go down further? The porcelain teapot is cold now. Ants can crawl on it. But if you fill it with hot water, with boiling water, nothing can survive, can't move. Now let's look inside the world. The inside of the world is exactly like this. A 40-60 kilometer layer of soil and rock prevents us from burning. After 40 kilometer, the crust ends and the mantle begins. Mantle consists of silicate minerals. Partially matured substances contain highly compressed gas and vapor layers, a kind of hell. Temp in upper furnace varies between 400 and 2000 degrees, rises to 5000 degrees towards core of sun. Diamonds, the most valuable mineral on Earth, 
formed due to temperature and pressure. These places are like a diamond sea. The journey of diamond particles to the surface of the earth begins here. We are in a sea of magma. Next is the outer core. Now starts the pool of liquid, nickel and iron, not molten rock and soil. The thickness is 2266 kilometers. The temperature here is around 5000 degrees. It consists of inner core made of iron and nickel mixture, solidified due to pressure. Temperature is 6000 degrees, like sun's surface. There is a pressure inside its core that is 3.6 million times the pressure we currently feel. The simulation of the Earth's core resembles the human eye a bit. The world has a rotational speed. The speed of the layers I mentioned is not the same as Earth's. Each layer has a different speed. If all of these had the same speed as the world, it would not be possible to protect the world. We can draw a parallel between it and a peach. The peach itself moves at one speed, the outer core rotates at another speed, and the small core inside it spins at another speed. The world has a miraculous structure with crust and mantle layers, but no metal. However, there is no stone or soil at its center. Iron nickel. Earth spins at 1670 km h. The outer core has a rotational speed. The inner core has a separate rotational speed. We have a planet with three speeds. If these speeds were different, if the speed of these organic engines were to change, life on Earth would end. The world is like a rotating dynamo with layers rotating at different speeds. What happens when layers are at different speeds? Iron and nickel in inner core, solid state, liquid composition of outer core and mantle, Different speeds turn Earth into massive magnet with presence of iron and nickel in inner core. What is the purpose of the world being a giant magnet? This is a magnet. There are unseen magnetic fields around. I don't see this presently. The world center also has a magnet structure. I'm sprinkling iron dust on this paper. Iron dust is spreading evenly everywhere. There is no abnormality. Now should I put a magnet under this paper? Iron dust collects in certain areas, can't reach gaps due to magnetism's protection. Protection around the world is a similar protection. Cosmic rays from the sun do not go beyond these limits of any kind of radiation. World protection is vital. We can see the magnetosphere like this. I can test magnetic field with copper wire. Center, battery, magnet present, naturally, organically in world. If the world were like this stone, if the earth resembled it, there would be no magnetism, no magnetosphere, no planet protection. Iron and nickel are needed for this, therefore the inner layers of the earth are designed to be a magnet for the earth. The world's interior is unlike other planets, not like Venus, not like Mercury, not like the moon. To sustain life on earth, there had to be food oceans within, and so it happened. An experiment was conducted at the University of Maryland in the USA. This sphere replicates the Earth's core. There is another sphere inside. Separate engines are set as inner and outer cores to mimic the rotation of the world, rotating at varying rates. 13 tons of churning liquid metal. The inner core is filled with 13 tons of liquid sodium to mimic the outer core of the Earth. The outer sphere makes four revolutions per second, and the inner core makes 15 per second. Revolutions per second. Let's go give it a spin. Standing of how our magnetic field. Many magnetic field sensors are placed around the globe. When the wide sphere reaches maximum speed, 
Something incredible happens in the outer core. The sphere reaches maximum speed. Magnetic lines draw an arc from the inside of the core to the outside. Huge lines of magnetism. We can't see anything, but the sensors detect the formation of magnetic field lines. The magnetic fields coming out of the The map is being drawn. The world's core is extremely complex due to this mechanism. Changing. It's fantastic. Is the rotation of layers at different speeds at the center of the world enough for this dislocation? No. Outer core. The liquid metal in the outer core needs to create convection currents by creating temperature and density differences. These currents cause the liquid metal to move continuously. The mechanism is similar to the operation of a dynamo. Solid inner core creates electric field with dynamo effect caused by rotating liquid outer core. This conductive liquid metal generates electric currents, which in turn move and transform the planet into a giant electromagnet. This geodynamic process causes the poles of the Earth to gain positive and negative charges, effectively turning the Earth into a powerful magnet. This magnetic force generates an unseen protective shield around the globe. The globe bears a resemblance to a living organism with all of these characteristics. Without this armor, the world's atmosphere would vanish quickly. The world's surface resembles Mars, Venus, and other planets.